Hi first grade, today we're gonna to be making a butterfly for our craft. So all you need is a toilet paper roll and a piece of paper, and you're gonna need a pencil and a pair of scissors and some things to color with. Now if you have colored um, construction paper, you can use that as well, um, whatever you have. You don't have to have the googly eyes, you can draw them on, that's just a bonus in case you have them. So go ahead and grab your supplies and come back. Okay, now we're ready to get started. I just took a toilet paper roll, and if you wanted to cut construction paper and put it around, or if you wanted to paint it, you can. I just used a marker and colored it, whatever color you want, because this is gonna be the body of our butterfly. And I'm gonna go pretty fast, so remember that you can pause the video at any time to catch up with me, okay? So then take a piece of paper. It can be colored or white, so you can color it and fold it in half like a hamburger. Crease it. And then we're gonna draw our butterfly wings and you can do them however you want. I'm just gonna do two little humps. One, two. And if you wanna add more details, you can. And then here you might need help from a grown up, but keep it folded and cut it out. I'm using my little scissors. <laughs> Kind of just draw, looks like a heart, doesn't it? Part of a heart. If you want to do more detailed, different shapes, however you want your butterfly to look. Okay, I'm done with that. So now you open it up and it's a butterfly. So now what you're gonna do, you can, you could have used colored paper, whatever you wanna do, you can flip it either way you want. I like mine this way. I'm gonna do some coloring. So I'm gonna put some dots or some circles up here. Color it in. You can do whatever design you want and I'd love to see how you choose to do yours. If you want some inspiration, you can have your grown up help you look up different kinds of butterflies and their patterns. Okay, I'm gonna draw more on this side. It's not even, but that is okay. I'm gonna make mine yellow and pink. Maybe a little bit of orange, we'll see. Okay, make this one a little bigger. Now I have some dots. And then I'm gonna add in some orange. Just some little circles all around. You design it however you want. Hold on, there's a spider on my table. <laughs> Where'd it go? Did you get it? Got it. Ew. Sorry, kids. <laughs> my mom's recording my video and there is a spider. Excuse us. Speaking of nature. Okay, we're back. <laughs> and if I had more time, I think later after this video, I'm going to go and color the background pink with like a crayon. But for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that right now. But I'll show you my finished product. So now we're going to take our butterfly body. And if you wanted to add designs to it, you can. You can take some glue or some tape, um, whatever you have, and I'm just going to glue mine down, and it may take a little bit to dry. Come on, glue bottle, work with me. <laughs> it's got some dried up glue on it. You, again, you may need help from your grown-ups with this part. I think I just broke my pencil lid off in it. <laughs> it's a Monday, what can I say? We're going to open it up. <laughs> 
Mom, it's not that funny. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Whoa. Don't worry, her mom's here to help her if she needs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what our grown-ups are for. Okay. I don't recommend doing this, but I'm going to spray the glue with my finger. <laughs> Because that is the kind of day we're having. Okay, so now I'm going to put my butterfly body onto my butterfly. And since it has that handy dandy hole in it, you can go in and press it down. And it may take, take a little bit to dry. Again, if you don't have glue, um, you can use tape, however you want to do it. So next up, we're going to do our eyes. And if you wanted to just take like a black marker and draw on your eyes, you can. But I found some googly eyes, and I thought that would be fun. So I'm going to give my butterfly some googly eyes. Just for funsies. You can even make your butterfly a little cyclops if you want to give them one eye. Just be super creative. Okay. Now my butterfly has eyes, and now I'm going to give my butterfly a smile. Because it's a happy butterfly. That didn't show up too well. Let's use a blue. Let's use this purple. There we go. Aww. Look how cute. Okay, and like I said, I'll go off camera. I'm going to color in my background. And the one thing I thought I have but I don't have was pipe cleaner. So if you have pipe cleaner, you can... Um, make put it glue it right in here and make little antennas, but I don't have that so my butterfly does not have Antennas, but there is my finished product I'm gonna go off of camera and color it in and then I'll show you guys how it turns out Okay, actually I'm back real quick. I wanted to show you my finished product. Like I said, I didn't have any um pipe cleaners to do the antennas with, but I found some felt and I just cut it out and colored it orange and I glued it down to the inside of my toilet paper roll. So whatever you have, just get super creative with it. Um, and then I colored my background very light pink, but you can't really see it. But there's my finished product of my butterfly and I would love to see how yours turns out. Bye.